chapter 10 covers enzymes and vitamins, which are somewhat related, and that's why they put them in the, the same chapter together. So, um, most enzymes are proteins. There are some that are not proteins, but most of them are proteins. And um, what makes it an enzyme is that it acts as a catalyst for a biochemical reaction. Um, biochemical reactions have to occur under very specific conditions. Um, when you do things in a test tube, you can heat it to boiling, you can freeze it, you can change the pressure, you can make it strongly acidic, you can do all kinds of stuff to it to make that reaction go the way you want it to go. But in a biological system inside of a cell, the conditions have to remain relatively constant. And so what the enzymes do is they catalyze the reactions, they make them go faster because a lot of these biochemical reactions while they may occur without the catalyst, they would occur too slowly for the cells to be able to function. And let's remember what a catalyst is. A catalyst is something that increases the rate of a reaction, but it is not a reactant. It does not get consumed. It just helps the reaction to go faster. Almost every reaction in uh, a biochemical system has its own specific enzyme. Most of these are, are globular proteins. We talked about the different types of proteins. These are globular proteins. So what kind of a shape are they going to have? Are they going to be long and stringy? Maybe shaped like globs, right? I mean, it doesn't sound like a real scientific word, but they are shaped like globs. They're just kind of like lumps, OK? They have very specific shapes but they're not, you know, long and um, fibrous or anything like that, so they're globular. There are a few um, enzymes that are made out of ribonucleic acids, and we'll talk about those later. Um, enzymes can, because they are proteins, can undergo all the reactions of proteins. And we've talked about those. Proteins can be denatured by heat or pH changes or other uh, chemicals can cause the protein to unfold, right, and become denatured. And so that happens to enzymes as well. And the activity of enzymes is usually regulated by other substances in the cells. And we'll see that this is a very um, sophisticated and complicated way of managing all of these um, biochemical reactions that are occurring.